All right, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in. If the world feels like it's insane right now, if it's just crazy, or if it's like a big blur, well, that's because it is, right? And you're listening to the music from a band called The Blur, and that's the way the world feels right now. I mean, anytime we have the largest electronic car manufacturer buy a billion and a half dollars worth of Bitcoin, just because he can. And anytime we have like a flash mob of investors buy a stock that's $2 and jack it up to $400, well, you know things are shifting and it's not your dad's investment world, right? Things are crazy right now. And we're seeing a really big shift in risk and reward. And we're gonna get to that today. So that's the exciting part. Now, I'm a little bit different as as far as an economist goes, because I believe people need context to understand the world that we're in right now. So we're gonna do a little bit of where we have been, where we are, and where we're going so that you can see the future. So this is the structure of what we're gonna go through. Um, I'm gonna talk about why I'm confident in the US economy, and it's gonna rock and roll very soon. Then I'm gonna talk about, unfortunately, I'm gonna wind it back to last year, back in March and April, and just show you the economic damage that was occurring and, and how we've rock and rolled ahead of time right now just to move up and really strengthen the economy. We're gonna talk about Biden's policies because they're important to understand and how they'll drive some opportunities. And then we'll get into the opportunities and we'll do a little bit of a case study uh, at the end to really kind of help you see where money is flowing in your industry and some of the opportunities that come from that. And then we'll wrap it all together in a nice bow at the end. The main takeaway from this day is this, right? Just think about this, get ready now. There are so many good things that are happening. The big idea is that the future provides a lot of wonderful opportunities, but you have to be ready to jump right in and take advantage of them. And we're gonna do that today. The best way that right. I think we can jump right into things is of course to do a poll, right? So let's just take a second and look at this data because we can't really pull you right now, but just think about it in your mind. Like, what are your challenges? Like, what are you going through right now? What's the toughest thing you have in front of you? And I grew up in the Midwest, right? So I grew up in, uh, since, you know, around Ohio and then in Illinois. And in this area, like, we have a little bit of skepticism. I think a lot of people do now, but a little bit of skepticism of big government. As a matter of fact, my dad used to tell me, he said, look, if the government comes to your door, knocks on and says, hey, I'm here from the government and I'm here to help you. You should slam the door and run the other way as fast as possible. Well, I've got a slide next that I'm gonna tell you is a little bit controversial because it totally goes against that. You know, right. let's just step back and think about what I talked about. Rethink the stimulus. It's so much bigger than, you, than most people realize. Maybe you know, but wow, like $12 trillion is a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Secondly, we've had a serious shift in government policy from the Trump administration to the Biden administration. And while you may not agree with a lot of what the Biden administration is going to do or wants to do, that's not the point of this. The point of this is to say, this is what is happening, you know, adapt or die or bang your head against the wall because this is happening right now, and that's what I want you to think about it. It may not feel like it right away, but those regulations on, on environmental stuff are coming, and they're coming fast, so you better be ready for those. So think about that. And then, of course, think about those trends that I mentioned. I'm sure everybody's kind of aware of them, but they have been really supercharged, and they changed dramatically you know, where people are physically and, and how um, they operate in the economy and the, and the opportunities that are there. So that's kind of exciting. All right, so let's just... What I'd like you to do right now is just take a second, take a deep breath, and write down two things that you can take back to your colleagues and go, you know, I listened to this crazy futurist economist, Andy Bush, he was kind of nutsoid, but boy, did he have a lot of good content. Here are two things that I really took away that I think we should consider as we're doing our business, as we're you know, trying to fulfill orders, what we can do with this knowledge and improve what we're doing. 